Since 2015, children and young people's charities have been the most popular cause for people to donate to, according to HowCharitiesWork.com. But despite the outpouring of donations, some families still go without as they struggle to get by. ABC 7's Drew Powell reports how a local consignment sale doesn't let anything that's donated go to waste. There's so many families in and around the Amarillo area that do need the help. Around 14% of people in Texas are living in poverty, according to the Center for Public Priorities. Events like the Just Between Friends Amarillo Fall Sale are helping to provide clothes, books, and toys this year to Head Start's clothing closet. Yes, their closet is kind of bare. The t things are kind of tight right now. Money is tight within the families and the communities. And so their, their closet is a little bare. And so we are going to be donating quite a bit to them at the end of the sale. And instead of just throwing it away, why not help somebody? I mean, everybody needs help sometimes, right? Supporting local is their priority. If anyone desires to donate clothes, books, and toys internationally, the owner of Just Between Friends Amarillo, Carrie Bay, says you need to check with the Red Cross or with area churches. If you have a closet or garage full of stuff willing to be donated, there are a number of local charities and nonprofits in need. Usually after a regular sale, we're looking at a couple thousand items. Shoes, clothes, books, toys, whatever, depending on what the charity needs, uh, yes. Bay says all items donated to Just Between Friends Amarillo have to be in good condition. They cannot accept anything that is stained, ripped, or torn, or anything that has been recalled. Drew Hill, ABC 7 News.